Hey guys, so in the last video I showed you the uh, FTP test on um, on Swift. And now it's a little time for doing a little aftermath. So if you look at the results, I grabbed the results um, from the um, file, which I you can download from your Swift dashboard, and I put them into Training Peaks because this is, this is what I use for myself and. Uh, for all the ash athletes, athletes, <laughs> for the athletes that I uh, coach. Okay, so let's have a look, shall we? Okay, so here you see I've pre-selected the ride. Um, <coughs> this is a small map up there for of uh, Vitopia. Doesn't matter; it's only virtual, anyways. Uh, your importance. I want to point to the numbers on the lower right, which is the 20 minutes. Uh, peak which has been uh, an average of 301 and um, you can see all the data up here so it's a 20 minute duration uh, I have a normalized power of 300 and 301 uh, I want to show you point out the variability index so the VI is the uh, shows how much your power has varied between uh, within that effort so if you have a high discrepancy, something like this, big drops and peaks, this would be something like 1.1, uh, 1 1.2, 1 or something like that, 1.08. That uh, indicates that you have not ridden steadily or as you ha sh should have. Having a 1.0 is perfect, right? 1.0 is like more or less steady all the way. I can smooth this even more. And if I, even though if I don't smooth it, you see that the spikes are, aren't that big, right? So we're, we're not talking about big um, uh, variations here. If you look at, the, look at the heart rate, it comes up and then just goes on very, 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 very steadily. It peaks at the end of 272, that's basically it. Okay, so now you got the, um, this one is written on the trainer, indoors and in a very controlled environment. What I want to point out and to show in this uh, video is the differences between riding on the trainer. Please memorize, so you have 301, the variability index is one, so very, very controlled. And uh, I did this actually this three days earlier. It's an FTP test I did on the road. And I've also marked uh, the lap, the, um, the 20 minutes the 20 minutes average was uh, normalized was 300 and uh, average was 306 normalized is 309 and uh, the variability index is 101 so it's not as steady why is that first of all it's outdoors second of all that was a very spontaneous ftp test <laughs> uh, so i what didn't uh, I, that was on my commute to work so it's not that i've set out to to um, intentionally do and do a test i was actually going for a kom right here and then I thought, ah, oh, well, now you're already in, and it, and it failed because it was wet. And okay, so, well, you might as well go on, right? So then I went on, I rode, I rode, I rode. And doing that on not my standard, <laughs> so to speak, FTP test um, road, I uh, had to go through a lot of corners and break a little bit. So you see the spike for the KOM, which goes to 600 watts, and then like really, really down when I have to, have to um, stop. So this varies a lot. This is not an, an optimal thing, but I just wanted to have one of those to compare it later on. So you see, this is like 309, okay, compared to um, 301. So let's say 310 to 301. So this is what I always see. I see uh, the numbers being about 10 to 15 watts less on the trainer. Why is that? So I think I've spoken with uh, Brian Taylor from of Infocranks about that, and uh, I think we more or less agreed that it's harder to reach the wattage indoors because you're, even though you're using the same power meter, you're using the same environment uh, for, or by, and it's obviously you, but uh, you, you heat up a lot more in, indoors, and you're recruiting different muscles, different muscle groups or the muscles in a different way in order to um, output the power. So that's what I think is, is, is related. I see this across the board. I see this in all the athletes I coach. I see this in myself con constantly, 10 watts. So if you do this on the trainer and you have you don't uh, have that high of throughput or output, don't worry, on the, in the outdoors, it will be better. 
but it's good to do a test outdoors and indoors because then you have different zones and you can train accordingly. I will uh, hopefully get a smart trainer or a different trainer. Let's see how, how that varies, but I uh, will keep you updated on that. So now you've got your average power. What do you do? So Zwift automatically does the calculations for you. The FTP functional threshold power is about 95% of the of your 20 minute peak. And um, there are calculators who do that for you. So if I punch in my 310 outdoors will be around like 295. If I punch in the one from the indoor tests, it will be about 286, which is fine. So, um, and please keep in mind that this is November and it's not the peak of the year. So you don't want to have your higher ranks uh, around here, a big wattages. So what this one gives you, it's a very nice, it's a very nice zone calculator. It gives you the watts to train accordingly to your zones. And what I always like is it gives you the um, perceived rate of exertion uh, or received per uh, exertion rate. Um, if you're going on training, you have like one to two, three, seven. And if you write the Sufferfest videos, this will actually be, this is the uh, unit you will see displayed on the, um, on this on screen. So what, what you actually want is you want to have a small map telling you, okay, so these are my watts. This is my, my RPE and you can then see, okay, so now that they're telling me to go for eight, then you have to be somewhere in between that. Okay, hope that uh, you enjoyed that. I will show you what you can do with your FTP in the next video. Right on.